So I've hit this with the heat gun and I think that's the easiest way to remove these stickers. So I'm going to remove this one, this one and finally this one and I'll talk to you after that. So we are getting somewhere at last. So I have a lot of the paint stripped. To be fair a lot of it was flaking off anyway. It's just mainly this piece left. I clean that down first before we even attempt to put the paint stripper in there. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this down guys and I'll get back to you. So it's cleaner than it was. And here I have just some paint stripper. I'm gonna spread that all around the leftover paint. It's hard to do this with one hand guys. I'm just operating camera in one hand and the brush in the other as you've probably figured all along right we'll stop it here and we'll spread it a bit more so it's been like 10 minutes and already you can see the paint remover taking hold that should save a bit of scraping okay stone reached guys so all the paint is off the underside of the deck still a few loose flaky bits but it's going out to the pressure washer now then we got to take it back in then we got to dry it all down with the heat gun and hopefully then we can get some rust protection in place so talk to you on the next part so I can't film the next part, the pressure washing, as I do only have one hand. Phone in one hand, and that's not going to work with a pressure washer in the other. So one final look before we hit up with the pressure washer. Yeah, it's definitely not as bad as I was anticipating. They're always worse here, and especially in here. But it's not so bad, overall. Right, we wash it down and get it back into the shed. Clean enough for me. Let's get some rust protection on it. So it's time to get the rust converter on, guys. Just going to paint it on with a brush. Uh, they do say that you can paint hammerite directly onto rust, the actual paint itself. But I'm going to go uh, just the extra mile, maybe. No point in doing all this stripping, only for it to rust again. So yeah. I'll get on with that and I'll get back to you. So that's the rust converter I've applied. Sadly guys, we've come to the end of part two. Coming up in part three, we're going to get some paint on the underside of this. A bit of further protection, we're going to flip her over. We've got to strip off the paint on the top side of a deck. There's a million and one things to do. Anyway, if you're into this sort of thing, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification and get alerts for part three. All right guys, thanks for watching.